All right, stream, so today, you know, I've been asked a lot to go over how to get mods on Minecraft. Some people think it's a lot more complicated than it is, and there's a lot of different ways to go about it. I'm going to show you guys how I do it, what I use, and um, how easy it can be if you just want to go with a basic setup. It's not that bad. This is going to be like a five-minute tutorial before we get back into playing our game, and this will also go up onto the YouTube channel, so if you want to look at it there in the future, it will be there. So let's jump right into it. This is the Twitch app, so you just have to download this off of Google Chrome or wherever. And we're going to go over, some people think it's in games, it's not in games. We're going to go over to mods, and it's going to have this list of games here for us to um, click on. And so obviously, we're playing Minecraft. It's already installed for me if I was going to um, make sure, I have to make sure that Twitch actually registers that I have a game. So I'd have to scan and locate it, but that's not that hard to do. Once it's there, you can double click on the game. And it should pull, you'll see here, I already have some mod packs installed. If you don't, you would just go to browse mod packs. And there's a pretty large list of um, mod packs available. And you can kind of sort here by what you want to see. If you want to look at specific types of um, mod packs, they're here. You can obviously sort by, say, like popularity, which is what most people will do when they're getting started. And you'll see the list here. If you're looking for a specific version of Minecraft, you'll want to probably search it. So, for example, FTB Inv Infinity, um, <clears throat> very old mod pack, very awesome mod pack, but it runs on 1.7. So a lot of the newer, um, most of the newer stuff isn't even in it. So if you are hardcore, you like the Villager update, and you want to play on 1.14 or 1.15, if you search it, it will show you you know, things that are relative to that. I can even see down here what the game version is, so 1.14.4. If I search for 1.16, which is the newest one, you'll see I have some mod packs for that. Generally, from what I've um, looked at, 1.12 is the most up-to-date one that has a large amount of mod packs, and so that's what I tend to use, but it's up to you. The mod pack that we use is actually the one right here at the top, FTB presents Direwolf20, and like I said, it's 1.12. Direwolf20 is a pretty well-known YouTuber who plays through modded Minecraft runs. And I believe this mod pack was made for one of his runs, and it has a lot of his favorites in it, and it's got a lot of good um, mods in it to really expand the game. So I already have it installed. If you don't, you would just click on this, and up here where it says play, you would have an install button. And it takes like two minutes for it to install. It's really simple. On this screen, you can see the overview, which isn't much. The change log, which is recent updates, and then you can go over here to the versions tab, and it lists all the versions when they were released, and you have a download link for each of them. I play on 2.5, that's the one I've had for the longest time, and that's what my server runs on. Um, so if you're going to look at playing on stream with us at some point, hit, hit, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, that's the one you're going to want to download, but it looks like three weeks ago, actually, they updated and came out with a 2.8 release. So that just goes to show you that even now, these mod packs are still getting updated. So you would hit install, it would get done, and you would go over to browse mod packs, or not browse mod packs, you go back to my mod packs, and it would be in this list here. It would have a big play button. Um, if it has this black thing next to it, that just means there's a newer version available, and if you click that, it's gonna tell you, hey, there's an update, do you wanna send it? You can, if you're playing on a server that runs on a certain version, and then you update your game, you're not gonna be able to play on that server anymore, so just be mindful of that when you're updating. I've had that happen more than once, so I'm gonna keep that where it is now. When you hit play, it's gonna pull up the Minecraft launcher, like it always does, or like a standard Minecraft would, but it's going to have your specific version listed here. Um, it'll say, usually say Forge and then some number combination. But that's, that means that's the mod pack that I'm going to play. I can actually, in this screen, I could switch to say 1.16 if I wanted to, which is the latest release, but I select my mod pack, I hit play. Modded Minecraft takes longer to load because it's got to load in all the mods. I'd say maybe five minutes for it to boot up, so it's one of those things where you start it up on your way to the bathroom or to grab a drink. When you're done loading in, you'll see this screen. And this is where you can either go into single player or multiplayer or start to try to just get familiar with everything. So that's it. Like I said, super duper easy. Hopefully that guys helps you out um, and gives you some context as we keep playing. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe and follow the Twitch stream. And let's get back into playing some Minecraft here.